This is a Camper King Portofino. Now this is based on the long wheelbase VW Transporter. It's a really cool looking thing actually. First of all the colour, which I think is fantastic, but also they put a lot of little details into it like this spoiler in the black around the front, colour coded with the bumper there. You've also got the side protection bars, the black alloy wheels, colour coded mirrors. It's a really smart bit of kit. Also on this one you've got the pop top as you can see and we'll see the benefit of that when we go inside. But yeah, that is a nice looking vehicle. So we'll take a quick wander around the outside first of all, and I'll take you inside and show you what it's all about. Now, as you can see here, we've got 240 volt uh, plugged into here. That's so when you're camping, for example, you can plug that into the vehicle, it gives you 240 volt inside. We'll see how that works in a moment. And that's your water filler next to it. Now, if you come on round, we'll open the back up, show you in there. What we've got here basically is there's like a small boot area, but also a lot of bits of storage. So that one there, for example, goes back underneath. We've got uh, power in here as well. So 240 volt when you're plugged into the uh, electrics, as we saw on the outside. There's also a USB just there as well for charging stuff. The other thing which I think is really neat, it's only a very small thing, but these little chaps up here are coat hooks. So if you've been out and your coats are all wet and stuff, you can pop them in here out of the way and they'll actually hang up and dry. So that's rather nice and this seat you can see this bit here this will drop down and that's how you convert this into sleeping but I'll explain that in a little bit more detail when we go inside and the final thing to show you here is if we slide that up that's giving you access to some of the electrics and power supply unit that kind of thing is all hidden away in there rather neatly so let's drop that one back down there we go Shut the back and I'll show you inside. So as normal of these you've got the side sliding door, you've got obviously the usual doors to the cab as well. That opens like that, really big opening actually, it really brings the inside out or the outside in <laughs> depending on how you look at it. And then we step in here, we'll start right at the back. There is a ton of space in here because they put this seat so well back look at how much space you get in here they're absolutely massive inside also here then you've got a lot of storage about the place so this one here it's just a huge drawer i mean for bedding and that kind of stuff absolutely ideal and then you've also got a bit more storage around the place these actually are tables and you can see the legs of them there and they drop into these which are dotted around the place and just to show you how that looks there's one up here it's exactly that table sits on top like so but you can put that here there's another one down here so you've got places to eat or use a laptop or whatever else you want to do three seat belts on this one across the back as well so you can travel with five in here no problem at all also you've got iso fix in here as well so for child seats it's ideal these are brilliant actually as a family vehicle because they're big enough to go camping but they're small enough to use you know to go to tesco's or whatever else you want to do with it i like the fact they've put the color coded stitching into here that looks really nice matches the outside and then if we look down this side control system for the vehicle is here so this is taking us into lighting you can switch all the lighting on and off from there also you can look at things like leisure battery you can see how much water is in the fresh water tank put the fresh water system on all controlled from that panel these are 240 volt sockets this is what i was talking about when you're plugged in from the outside then you've got 240 volts on the inside and there are more usb chargers there and that one drop a phone onto there with inductive charging and it'll charge it for you some nice funky lighting in here so along there for example and you've got it up underneath as you can see dotted around the place so plenty of light into here and again just storage everywhere which is exactly what you need in this sort of vehicle get everything packed away and then something you don't often see is a really good cooker so there's a three burner gas hob the gas actually it's a little lpg tank that sits right in the back so you get to that from the tailgate um, but you've also got a proper oven and grill don't often see that love this little illuminated camper king sign on the outside there that's rather smart you've got a little sink as you can see and a bit of work surface as well and then they've brought this round here so that you can swivel this seat around as you can with this one and just make this all part of the social area and we're back again to what i was saying earlier the amount of space that that then gives you in here is just fantastic 
If we come right to the front, this one's got the DSG automatic. It's the 150 horsepower 2 litre diesel in here. And of course you've got the normal VW steering wheel, controls, dashboard, the um, in-car entertainment, all that kind of stuff. Everything is right there. And then again with these funky seats with the Camper King logos on. It's really nicely done. You've got the armrests on here as well. Very comfortable whether you're driving or whether you're stopped. And then finally I mentioned that pop top. And that pop top is giving me full standing headroom in here. It's just brilliant. You can literally wander around. I and mean, obviously it drops as you get to this end because it's sloping. But it's incredible the amount of extra space that gives you. And it's really simple to operate because all you have is these handles here and you just physically pull it down when you want to drop it down and lift it up when you want to use it. But that gives you, firstly, a load more space, but secondly, another bed. So this one here drops like so, so you can sleep two people up there. This is a bit of netting that can go up. So if you've got kids up there at night, you haven't got to worry about them tumbling out. That's very helpful. And of course that back seat converts. So what you do with this is there's a lever down underneath here and then that whole thing drops down like that that one drops down to match it that gives you a huge double bed right across the back let's just lift that one back up it's just locked into place reclined and then if we go again there we go that brings it back up into place when you're driving superb that is a very adaptable useful rather lovely vehicle isn't it fantastic i think we've just about covered that one let's head back outside i'm going to say massive thanks to dolphin motorhomes for organizing that tour huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching let me know what you think of that one in the comments and we'll catch you on one of these real soon take care bye bye